Hey guys, so we're back again with another video. This is gonna be my first April or monthly favorites video. So March is over. Okay, wait, pause. Desiree, did you just say March? I'm sorry guys, excuse my blondness. I meant April. <laughs> Over, I'm gonna give y'all all the products that I enjoyed or really used a lot for the month of March and I have very few and some of them I did just buy but I love them so much that I know they're gonna be a major monthly favorite so first we're gonna start off with highlight of course I've been using the Nicole glow kit every time I wear makeup like I've always dip into Forever Young and Glow Getter. Like those two are my favorite. Like they are beautiful. I highly recommend a cold glow kit. Okay, so my next favorite is an eyeshadow palette and I really wanted to dip into color and get out of my comfort zone and stop using neutrals all the time. So I came up with this eye look. Which kind of reminds me like of a lemonade sand type of look. But anyways, my favorite palette this month has been the I can't talk, but uh, uh, the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette. Oh my gosh, guys, this palette is amazing. It has so many colors in it. You can create a ton of looks with this. I love it. I haven't dipped into Zobo or Calabar or Molly, but the other ones I have used and I love this palette. Like, if you want to get color and neutrals like in one palette, I do recommend this. These are super creamy, super buttery, like, look at that. It's just a couple of swatches and it's amazing. So I do love this palette a lot. Highly recommend it. This one was on sale on at Hot Look, but I think on their website they sell for like $25.99 or something like that. They have other ones that are mostly neutral and then another one that's like completely colored. And they're coming out with blush palettes soon too. If you are in like the blush family and you like to wear a lot of blushes, they're coming out with two volumes of blush palettes. So go check them out. Next eyeshadow palette I have is Again, a colored palette. It's the NYX Brights palette. This is good, look at it. Look at all those colors. Like here, I mostly wanted it for these yellow colors because yellow has been like super trendy in the swatch. I bought that. It was pretty good. They're a little bit um, patchy but I can deal with that, like it doesn't bother me that much. But today, um, I used this palette, I used this color and this one on my eyes and this one. Perfect view, I have really dry skin. So I bought a primer that I hopefully would nourish it and make it more, not filling or smooth, I wanted something more hydrating and made my skin feel good. And this primer did that for me. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. Wow. I cannot say any any more good things about this. It's so good. It's, it has coconut water in it. So I'm assuming that's why it's really good. It's silicone free. Um, I don't remember what it really smells like. I love it though. So highly recommend it. It feels so good on the skin. It's super creamy. You need this if you have dry skin. I don't know how it will work with oily skin, but I don't see why it wouldn't. I bought the travel size one. and Not the, not the big one, but I'm going to have to go get me some big one. So after primer, I really do enjoy the Mario Badescu setting spray in rose water. I'm going to have to go get more. It's like down to here. I've never finished the setting spray so quick. Like, if you don't want to wear makeup, you can just spray this on and it feels good and it makes the skin feel hydrated and moisturized. I can imagine these two being like a duo for sure. If on a day where you just want to wear concealer or spot conceal and not like a whole face of foundation, these two would be amazing pair. So, 
I want to try the cucumber one. Let me know if you like that one. But the, so far, the rose water is my favorite. On to concealer. Of course, this is my first favorites video. I cannot not fit in Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This concealer is bomb. It's super um, full coverage. Makes your face feel really good. Covers any dark circles. It's not too heavy to wear it. That it's not so heavy being a full coverage concealer. My color is in light medium honey. And I'm pretty tan. Next is two foundations I've been wearing non-stop all month of March. This is the, I just got this one, the NYX Total Control Foundation. It's pretty thin, it's lightweight, it can be full coverage, it's really, really good. This is the color in Golden. Love this foundation. I am going to have to get like a lighter color because this is a little bit dark. But I'm kind of waiting because I'm always outside on the weekend and I may get a little bit darker so this color may end up working for me. I have worn it with uh, this concealer which lightened it up a little and kind of balanced out the color. So I may or may not go get a second color of this. Next foundation, you all know I have raved about on my channel and if you haven't already, you need to go watch the other video. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This foundation is my favorite ever. It's, what, $4 and some change? Like, how could you not go buy this already and try it out? That foundation, I'm always setting my face with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. These two work great together. My my makeup does not budge if I use this Photo Focus setting powder. Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This bronzer, oh my gosh. It smells like summer in a compact. Like it's so good. It's really light, buttery, creamy bronzer. I love it. This is in the color I think this is the medium shade because they have a light and they have a medium. So this one is medium. And it even has a mirror on the other side. So that's it for makeup. Let's do, let's do um, music. So my top three songs right now. So I've been listening to Khalid's album a lot this month. It's a very good album if you haven't already. This is one of the songs that I like. And another one on this album. Is Save. Okay, that, those two songs on that album, and then here's my other favorite song this month. Eddie Commissary made it to commas. Bitch, all my grandma's dead. So when nobody pray for me, I'm going to hear it. Dirty means later, not a fast watch, and I'm going to go to the court. Okay, that song on this album, and of course, this song. Doesn't Justin Bieber make you feel some type of way? <laughs> I love that song. I love how Justin Bieber's like trying to come out of his element and sing other genres of music, which is amazing. I love him. 
those are like the main songs I've been listening to lately. The Damn Album by Kendrick Lamar and American Teen by Khalid and Despacito's also been like a repeat on on my music album. Um, a non-music related favorite is, I don't know if you watched my last video, but I did a DIY vanity. So that marble, marble anything is my favorite right now. I have that sticker I put on my phone. It's on my vanity. This marble pop, pop socket, thanks to Ashley who got this for me. Like marble anything right now is my like craze. I'm going crazy about marble. And that's it guys. That's all my monthly favorites for the month of March. I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video. I enjoyed creating it. If you did like these type of videos and like to see more monthly favorites, don't forget to get that. Uh, uh. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I know you did like these types of videos. And I hope you liked it. Comment, subscribe. And share. Oh yeah, share this video. Go share it with your mama, your cousin, your greasy grandma. Okay, your, your grandma's not greasy, but. Yes, she is. <laughs> All right guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. Love you guys, bye.